Tired of long-term commitment plans? Then Appalachian Wireless has a new plans for you. No credit checks, no contracts, and most of the features are postpaid. It's forward pay, the simpler way to do wireless on the region's premier cellular provider. And it starts as low as $19.99 a month with unlimited talk and text. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The Unite Pot Coalition recently hosted its final meeting for the year, bringing together members from various entities. Today was the monthly meeting of Unite Pike Coalition. They're uh, one of our 33 coalitions that we have with Operation Unite. And it was just a community of people who have the same goal, and that is to save lives, to create hope, to change the culture regarding the whole substance use uh, epidemic. Marinette Little, Operation Unite AmeriCorps Program Assistant, emphasized that prevention is key, highlighting the need to educate children early about the dangers of drugs. One of the things that we understand in Operation Unite is that prevention is the key to all of this. It is the horse that pulls the cart. And uh, for a long time, we had the cart in front of the horse. But we have an AmeriCorps program, and we are able to have nine young people uh, in Pike County school system who are our AmeriCorps members. So they're serving in nine schools. United is just a tremendous organization. They help our families, they help our schools, they help our communities. We have a great partnership with them uh, through United workers within our school. And I would invite you to come to a United meeting here monthly and you can see there's a purpose behind what they do. And it's just a tremendous partnership and organization. We're glad to be a part of it. Guest speaker Brian Hubbard, who has practiced workers' compensation law statewide for 16 years, was in attendance at the meeting. Having lived in Kentucky since 1997 and raised in Virginia's Cofields, Hubbard shared his experience in examining the relationship between joblessness, poverty, disability, and drug dependence. Pike County and East Kentucky generally is God's country, and we have the opportunity here to begin to foster the sort of culture change as a society that we've got to have nationwide to whip this thing within the course of our lives. We can do it, and it's an honor to be here to contribute to the conversation as to how. Although this was the final meeting of the year, Unite Park will resume its monthly meetings in September. The coalition remains committed to working with the community to combat drug addiction and provide support to those affected. The meetings are open to the public. They're open to anyone who has a concern. And uh, if you don't have a concern, then you probably shouldn't come to these meetings. So they're open to everyone. They're open to those people who uh, are burdened by the problem we're facing. They're open to those people who want to contribute, who have an idea, who want to work with others. They're open to those people who want to save their communities. Reporting from Mountain Top News, I'm Ethan Miller.